Good. Hello. Good day. We've been having some problems, so uh, we're hopeful that this will work. Okay, we're looking now to um, the 32nd Sunday Ordinary Time, November the 7th and 8th. The first reading is from the first book of Kings, chapter 17. It's a magnificent little miracle. I guess no miracle is really little. But uh, uh, that Elijah simply goes up to the woman. He has that confidence in God that God will give him the food that he needs to continue on and to give the widow and her son this miraculous um, food during the famine uh, because the container will never empty of the oil and the uh, flour that they need to keep on living. It's really an act of love on the part of God that he reaches out with such goodness to the, the widow, to her son, and to the prophet. And it lines up, <clears throat> excuse me, with the gospel, with the widow who gives completely and freely of all her money and um, depends on the goodness of God. Jesus says as he sits there, uh, he sees many rich people put in large sums. This poor widow has put in more than all the other contributors to the treasury. What he's talking about is proportion. She gave everything that she had, and those rich people gave a certain uh, sm much smaller portion of their gifts. So God sees her as giving not the bottom line, so to speak, but giving everything, and he acknowledges that in her. And he looks for that in us, to give everything we have and not to hold back. Because what the widow was saying in the uh, gospel reading, what happened to the widow in the uh, Old Testament reading, was both of them depended on the goodness of God to continue on. Going on to uh, Paul's letter to the Hebrews, he's talking about Jesus himself, his giving. Christ did not enter into a sanctuary made by hands. Not that he offered himself repeatedly. It was a one-time offering. But now, once for all, he has appeared at the end of the ages to take away sin by a sacrifice. He gave away everything, depending on the goodness of his father, to give him back life. And he'll come a second time. But this time, to bring salvation to those who eagerly await him. Have we lived with that same kind of faith that the widows had in the Old Testament and in the Gospel? Did we have that same kind of faith to put ourselves, our lives in the hands of God. And in turn, to depend upon God for salvation. Salvation comes only from the Lord. If we live in him, we have salvation. If we live in our own hands, it's all a loss. May God bless you all.